Hi everyone, this is a mixture of a haul, a try on and a summer stroke autumn dress lookbook. So I've got eight dresses here that I've recently thrifted. I'm going to show you what they are, what they look like and then tell you how much I paid for them and how much I'm hoping to get for them. So first up is a dress by Louche, that's the label. Um, it's got a really pretty kind of cut out floral pattern in it. It's a really nice retro design, like a 1960s style mini dress. I paid five pounds for it in a charity shop and I've listed it for 29.99. So I'm hoping to sell it for 25 to 30 pounds. The second dress I've got is also a loose dress. It's a really pretty blue with floral design. I've described it as a sheath dress because it kind of comes in at the bottom and I've also put the keywords tea dress in that. Um, again, I paid five pounds for this in a charity shop and I've listed it for 29.99. Next is an odd Molly dress. This is probably a bit more autumnal than summer, but it is quite lightweight and it's floaty. And I think that it, it'd be perfect for summer for the cooler summer days as well. I really love Old Molly. They are very folk in their style, kind of prairie or peasant dress. So those are keywords that I've used. And again, this was a charity shop find. I paid four pounds for it and I've listed it for 29.99. So again, I'm hoping to get 25 to 30 pounds on it. So next up is a dress from Oasis. This is something um, that I've actually had around for a while. Um, I think I picked it up at a boot sale some time ago, but it was in my backlog. Um, I wouldn't have paid any more than a pound for it. It's a black shift dress with um, like an oriental botanical design on it. Um, it's got really nice pie crust sleeves with like a plissé detail here. It's very intricate and it's fully lined, really beautiful. I've listed that for £25. And then another recent charity shop find was this Zara dress. Very bold design, very retro, kind of 60s, 70s um, skater dress. It's got long sleeves, but again, it's like a crepe material. So it's really thin and floaty. Um, it's perfect for the cooler summer days or evenings. Um, and also for going into autumn. So I've listed it now. I paid four pounds for that in the charity shop and I've listed it for 24.99. So I always take offers on everything. Um, I'm hoping to get between 20 and 25 on it. The next dress was a jumble sale find. This was 50p. It's nothing really to write home about. It's just a very basic summer dress, but I really loved the design on it. It's by River Island, um, it's got an elasticated waist, but I just really loved the Aztec design, the cutout detail on the front, and at 50p, can't really lose. So I've listed that for 11 .99. And then another jumble sale pickup is this really colourful and pretty maxi dress. It's by two at Sainsbury's but the design is just stunning. So I'm very on trend at the moment with the print clash and the patchwork design. I paid just 50p for that and I've listed it for 14 99 I've recently sold another maxi dress by two, uh, very similar to this and it went quite quickly for 14 99 So I've got quite big hopes for that as well. And then last but not least, I found this in a charity shop. It is vintage 90s. It's new look and it's still new with its tag. Originally it was $34.99. Um, it was reduced in their sale at that point. Um, it was a size 16, so vintage sizes tend to come up a lot smaller. So I'd say it was more a 12. 12 stroke 14. Um, I've listed it as a 12. It's really sparkly, very, very pretty. It's a long maxi dress 
sort of a pencil dress right to the floor with a split at the back. Other keywords to describe this would be slip dress. It's very sparkly with its sequin detail all over it. It's fully lined, very 90s. 90s style slip dresses are very much on trend. So look out for those. I recently had a red one that sold really, really quickly. I've actually lost the original um, charity shop tag for this, but I think I paid about six pounds for it and I've listed it for 29.99. Um, I think it's worth that all day long. Love it. So thank you for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like, a little thumbs up. And um, if you have any questions or you want to comment on anything that you've seen in the video today, please comment below. And I will see you again very soon in a video with Nick. Take care. Bye.